the eye knife in action here on a piece of meat in a demonstration at St Mary's Hospital in London. Every operating theatre has electrosurgical knives which use heat to cut tissue. The clever part is the machine to which it's connected. The smoke that's produced is vaporised tissue. This is sucked along a tube into a mass spectrometer which in effect sniffs the smoke, analysing its molecules. Early trials published in the journal Science show it was 100% accurate in telling whether the tissue was cancerous. And the answer comes in a second. It's going to be tens of thousands of pounds. Surgeons at Imperial College London who helped develop the eye knife think it could save lives. You should have a safer operation because we don't remove unnecessary or incorrect tissue. And you should have a better cosmetic effect because we will have to remove less tissue and that's not important in all surgery but it is important in, in things like breast surgery. That's crucial because one in five women with a cancerous breast lump need repeat surgery because some of the tumour was missed first time. The eye knife will be expensive but might ultimately save hospitals money. I think it's one of the biggest step forwards in cancer surgery, <laughs> at least in a decade, because what we're doing is adapting something that already happens in, from a procedural point of view uh, to generating completely new knowledge for diagnostics that simply wasn't there before. Um, and we think that that in its own right makes it really transformational. It may also be useful beyond surgery, during diagnostic investigations, for example, to do real-time analysis of gut samples. The eye knife is undergoing patient trials at three London hospitals. If these go well, then it could be approved for use throughout the NHS within five years.